This episode of Super Carlin Brothers is brought to you by Honey. Hey, brother! Guys, welcome to another J vs. Ben Pottermore just released the new Ultimate Remus Lupin quiz. So today we're gonna go head to head to find out who knows more about everyone's favorite werewolf. Oh my gosh, this is one where, like, when I heard they released a Lupin quiz, I was like, a, a Lupin? Surely I know everything about Lupin. Well, we're gonna find out. I have a feeling I don't. <laughs> What is honey? Well, it's basically magic. Magic? We're talking about magic? Yeah. I yeah. love magic. Me too, that's why I'm telling people about it. So how long have you been down there? A while. Honey is a free browser extension that automatically finds the best coupons on the web for you so you get the best price on whatever you're shopping for. So it's kind of like an internet web browser wand? Yeah, I guess you could say it's like an internet web browser wand, but can you please, I'm like in the middle of an ad here, just. What's an ad? Look, I'll even show you how it works. Imagine you're up late one night studying for your upcoming Remus Lupin quiz against your brother when all of a sudden you feel the need for some pizza. Like, a lot of pizza. Wait, you studied for that? Like I was saying, you're up late not studying for your Remus Lupin quiz and you decide you need a lot of pizza and you're about to pay full price when, boom, all of a sudden, Honey comes in and finds you some discount coupon codes and there you go, you've saved money. It's as easy as that. There's really no reason not to have Honey. It takes two clicks to install, it saves you money and you don't have to do any of the work. Again, to install, just click the link in the description or go to joinhoney.com slash supercarlinbrothers and install it for free today. Day. You know what I like to do with all my savings? Just get like more pizza. I know, right? Yeah, it's like, don't save the money, just get more. Right. So if you want to play along with us, we are going to put a link to the quiz down in the description. The only hang up on our end is that Ben and I will not be given the multiple choice answers. We will have to answer from memory. However, if we both decide that we would like to hear the multiple choice, we can agree to it. We can agree to it. We can agree yes. to get that. So it adds, a, it adds an element of strategy, strategy to our game right, where it's right, like, right. I think I know, but if I get the multiple choices, maybe he'll get it right too. Indeed, but Which maybe I don't know. Right, right, exactly. Ooh. So, uh, Derek, how many questions do we have in this one? 30. Oh 30. boy, I didn't, are there 30 facts you could know about Remus Lupin? I, gonna... I wonder if one of them is, what is his first name? <laughs> <laughs> True question. Okay. Let's go. All right, let's do it. All right, number one. What was the nickname Lupin's school friends gave him? Mooney. Mooney is correct. <laughs> Boom, off to an Nailed excellent start. Great start. Oh, great start. Question number two. What did a bog art turn into for Lupin? Three, two, one. The moon. Lupin is afraid of the moon. Yeah. Full moon is more correct, but on the quiz it does say, just say moon. So okay, got it, got it. I would like to give you extra points, but... No, that's fine, yeah. it's fine, it's fine. I actually... I was like, this is one of those questions that I feel like I get wrong. Because it's like, are you kidding? Really? <laughs> because I A full moon with a little bit of clouds. <laughs> yeah, little bit of clouds. It says crystal ball in the book. Right. Oh, that's Misinterpreted. true. Misinterpreted. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes, yes. Question three. How did Lupin know what the Marauder's map was when he confiscated it from Harry? Three, two, one. He's one of the map makers. He is one of the map makers. He helped make it. He's a Marauder. All of those are correct. <laughs> He's Marauder. Really is, is Marauder a hard word to spell or is it an easy word? Uh, I, I never know where to put the U. Is it the second A? It is after the second A. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it right. This is... So far. Oh, man. This is how they lure you in there. You're like, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing right. good. False sense of confidence. Yeah. All right. Number four. What form did Lupin's Patronus take? A wolf. It was a wolf. Very appropriately. But I think it's specifically a wolf and not a werewolf. Oh, that's true. Yeah. It's not yes. a werewolf. Question five. What was the name of the Auror Lupin married? Three, two, one. Nymphadora Tonks. Nymphadora Tonks nice. is correct. Nice. Man. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. This is this, this is, is gonna be if you miss one, it's gonna be like it's gonna be hard to catch up, I feel like. It is, yeah. it is. I know my yeah. I feel like I'm getting more nervous. I know, like the, better the, we the better your streak is, the worse it gets, like oh no. Number six. Which werewolf passed the condition on to Lupin? Fenrir, Fenrir Greyback. Fenrir Greyback. Question seven. What was the name of Lupin's only son? His full name. Again, his full name. Does that mean like his like middle name and last name? His first, middle, and last name. And not perhaps any nicknames. His first, middle, and last name. Mm -hmm. Oh, middle name. I don't name. know. I don't know. I don't and know also, now name. I'm wondering about the front name. If it's like a really long version of that, 
I, I have to admit something to you. What? I knew this was, I, I didn't know this was going to be a question. I assumed this was going to be a question. So I, I looked up what his name is, but I don't know his middle name. I don't, okay. I know what they call him. Like, I know. Mm -hmm. But I'm wondering if it's like the long, like, do you know, do you know what I'm I do wondering? know exactly what okay. you're saying. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm wondering. Um, the question I, is the middle name, but I feel like it's got to be, uh, it's got to be guessable. It's not like random. Do you know Lupin's middle name? Oh, I can't wait for that question. Um, <laughs> dang it. But now I don't want to put that because if it is, I'll give it away. And I don't know if that's it. Just put it. It'll, I'm sure that's it. I'm, I'm sure <laughs> that's it. I can't believe it's about it. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh, so, all right. Three, two, one. Put Theodore Remus Lupin. The correct full name is Edward Remus Lupin. So, by your powers combined, you do Edward? have the correct answer. Edward is Edward. his first name. I thought they called him Teddy, though. They, they do. do. <laughs> Ted, I think... I don't know if it can also be a shortened thing. That's why I knew that it's like a weird, it's like a, a weird one. Well, my goodness. I agree. So what do we do there? Nothing? So no one gets it no, right. I mean, it sounds like. So, both of you are wrong, but for different reasons. Okay. Dang. Yeah. I, <sighs> oh, man. man. Okay. I would it never have sense. gotten that. It would have made sense to have put his dad's first name as his middle name. Yeah. I, I was I was like, would it have been one of the... I know. I was like, is it... Did you put James. I, I was thinking James. about James. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I could even see him doing Harry, but I feel like I know then. Yeah, you would think you would think that one. Yeah. Man, okay. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, tricky, tricky. I knew I knew a question about his son would be on there. That's that's I I felt like that was. But one I was of the like, facts. yeah, Teddy T or Teddy Lupin, right? Mm -hmm. Easy. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Edward Remus Lupin. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now we know. Now we know. All right. Question eight. Where did Lupin hide every full moon when he was a student at Hogwarts? Did you elaborate on this, like... What? Okay, right. Three, two, one. The Shrieking Shack. The Shrieking Shack is yeah, correct. Okay. It <laughs> seemed... <laughs> it's, <laughs> well, so, like, the Whomping Willow... <laughs> the Shrieking Shack, via the tunnel beneath the Whomping Willow, installed the year he went to school. <laughs> yes, yes. Poke the, the, the knock on, on the, the trunk. <laughs> Question number nine. What was Lupin doing the first time Harry met him on the Hogwarts Express? He was snoozing. He was snoozing. Was that you snoring? That was, yeah, that's how I snore. That's how I snore. <laughs> that's that's how, that's actually, how when I, I snore. When I tell Alice that I'm tired, I will go, hashu, hashu, hashu. Like, as if, as if I'm sleeping while standing where I, where I yeah. stand. It's like code. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Subtle. It is super subtle, yeah. <laughs> so you have to know like our little language in order to understand what's uh -huh. happening. Okay. Question number 10. What was Lupin's middle name? <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <sighs> Told you it was coming. I knew it. I knew it. I feel like we get... Do you get the initials on his briefcase? The initials are there. Do they read the initials? I think so. I'm just going to message my wife while you think Sure, sure, sure. I mean, that's a, that's a good way to use this time. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if, there, if it's like a wolf-related word. You know, it's so weird that they would have named him Remus and then he'd go on to be a werewolf. <clears throat> it's almost like they cursed him. A little bit. Yeah. What are the odds? It's almost like she picked his name knowing his condition. <laughs> it's almost like that. I'm so happy. I'm not. <laughs> Watch me be wrong. <laughs> I, I I feel like I have Am I going to know it when I hear it? You might Certainly you'll know it once we tell you the answer <laughs> Well, sure Because then you'll just have the answer I'll just have the answer Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one John Voldemort <laughs> <laughs> uh, The answer is uh, Voldemort It's the weirdest thing <laughs> uh, <laughs> What? <laughs> Who knew? Uh, the answer is John I feel like it's unfair because your name is John. No, I can tell you exactly when he says it. It's after the Battle of the Seven Potters, and they're checking his identity, and he says, I, Remus, John, Lupin, of knowing sound in mind, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and now, now that I've said it, you're like, I do remember it. But, you know, if it was Ben, I probably would have remembered it. Yeah? Yeah. Are there any Bens in Harry Potter? Maybe not. Well, you'd remember. <laughs> That's a really good point. I walked right into that one. There aren't. 
I am sure. <laughs> are we on question 11? We are. <laughs> question 11. How did James Potter refer to Lupin being a werewolf in company? Code name for it besides like it's not Mooney, right? Right, like that seems like yeah. That, aside that, aside that, from his it. nickname, okay, that would seem like the most obvious way to do it. Um, you want to get multiple choice? Y sure, because I think I know, but this will confirm, I guess. The answers are his monthly excursions, his lunar allergies, going walkies, his furry little problem. All right, three, two, one, furry little. Problem. His furry little problem. Okay, I bet you I, thought it was fuzzy little problem. I thought it was hairy little condition. Dang it. And I well, was like, that's yeah, okay. That one. So I, also, I, going walkies is hilarious. Going walkies. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that was it. I almost did lunar allergy because it, like, James always reminds me of Fred and George a little bit, and that seems like something. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. That, sure. he, that he would have, like, it's like clever. Mm hmm. But. So props to the person who wrote the Pottermore quiz because that was good. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. Question twelve: How did Remus Lupin hold his old suitcase together? How did he hold it together? Mm -hmm. This is a thing where like, why can't he just magic it better? <laughs> right, like, like why does Harry not have tape in between his the brim of his glasses anymore? Because Hermione fixes it. Right. What's your problem, Lupin? Lupin? Yeah. He needs a little suitcase repairo. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All you gotta do is say... What, what is Latin for suitcase? I have no idea. You don't even have to say the name of it. It's just repero. Yeah. Like, they say Oculus repero. That's stupid. That's an extra word. I agree. Well, unless unless that's, like, part of part of knowing how to repair something. And if there's no Latin word for it, maybe it's just... Maybe it just can't be, you can't be fixing that. It's part. one of those things. In the movie, she says it, but in the books, they just say repero to everything. Oh, gosh, gotcha. gotcha. And it just mm. gets repaired. Do you know it? I have a guess. I have a guess, but I don't think it's a good one. Okay. Um... I'm thinking of obvious ways that people would hold anything like that together. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I put spello tape. I put a belt. Neatly knotted string. Neatly knotted string? That does seem like Lupin. Now that I hear it. I thought spello tape too. Spello tape is one of the answers here. Question 13. How old was Remus Lupin when he was bitten by a werewolf? Five. Five. Almost five. It's five. Okay. okay. Uh, almost five is the correct answer, but it's five. Okay, we're going to go. With That's that. fine. Thank you. All right, question 14. What was the name of the potion that Snape made for Lupin when he was teaching at Hogwarts? Three, two, one. The Wolfsbane potion. Wolfsbane potion is correct. Nice. Yeah. Back in a happy little territory here. <laughs> Halfway through the game. Mm-hmm. I need to borrow your eraser here soon. I'm using the eraser. It's going to sign my hand. It's getting a little crummy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have two erasers. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this is a low budget show where we'll have one. Ben, I'm looking at the other uh, eraser. <laughs> Derek. <laughs> yep. All right. That's fine. Question 15. Why did Madame Pomfrey approve of Professor Lupin? Three, two, one. She gave Harry chocolate. Uh, chocolate is good and stuff. That, that's basically yeah. correct. He knew his remedies, like eating chocolate for meeting a dementor. That's right. Yay! Maybe we'll finally have a defense against the dark arts <laughs> teacher who knows what he's doing. Mm, exactly. You like this? Nope. Okay. I like the smudgies now. They're good luck smudgies. <laughs> They're good luck smudgies. <laughs> this one I found to be very hard, because I didn't know it. Uh -oh. Number 16. Which spell did Lupin use to shoot chewing gum at Peeves? No way you know. I'm pretty sure I do. What? Pretty sure. Expecto mm. gummo? <laughs> oh, this is... It's on the tip of my tongue. The, the word I have wrong. The word I have down is wrong. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let me think. Let me, let me go inside my brain here. Ben. Okay. I gotta zen out. I gotta zen out. How is your brain organized? Oh my gosh. I'm going to be as unhelpful as humanly <laughs> possible. <laughs> mm. It's like right there. It infuriates me that he has it stored in his brain. That he knows he knows. I was like, oh, wait, God. this happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, I, I could s I'm so mad that I, I'm, I... Every time I hear this part... In the Prisoner of Azkaban, I'm like, I say it out loud a few times. I'm like, yeah, that's the only time I've ever used that spell. And then, <laughs> what a delightful little spell. Yeah. 
Uh, mm, good to know it's in prisoner. Good to know. Well, <laughs> helpful tip. Yeah, yeah. What else is Limpa gonna be around Pete? <laughs> good point. Yeah. Oh man, this is so annoying. Well, I would go multiple choice because. Oh, 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 oh. No! I, got, I got it. I got it. No! Oh, my gosh. oh, oh God, there it was. Man. Oh, thank you. All right. If you get this. Okay, okay, yep. Dang it! I got it, I got it. Mostly excited for Ben's answer. <laughs> Three, two, one. Wadi Wasi. <laughs> Voldemort. The correct answer is Wadi Wasi. What the heck? Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh what? My, oh what? my gosh. What? I am I am more impressed with you than I am frustrated with you, but I am I am frustrated with you. <laughs> It's like it's like wad of gum, you know. Yeah. That's sort of the only thing. Oh yeah, no, of course, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, 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 yeah. <laughs> Everything in Harry Potter, there's a reason why it's named yeah, that. Yeah. though. <laughs> She's like, hmm, because Peeves is stuffing gum into a, a, the lock of the door. Sure. Yeah. 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 And he gets shoots it back down his throat. Nice. It's like this is a handy little spell. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> like when? Yeah. You frequently coming across poltergeists. Shoving gum in doors. It sounds like you are you were on clean the bottom of the benches duty <laughs> yeah, at right. the Quidditch games. What was he? What was he? What was he? Does everybody chew gum? <laughs> oh man! All right. Uh, question seventeen. This is a select all that apply. After studying bog arts, what else did Lupin's Defense Against the Dark Arts class study? Grindelows, Redcaps, Hinky Punks, Manticores, Kelpies, Kappas. Red buckets. Okay, let's give it a go. You ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. It said Grindylows, red caps, hinky punks, and kappas. The Dang. correct answer is Grindylows, hinky punks, red caps, and kappas. Woo! Dang. No kelpies. No kelpies. Oh my god. No manticores. So Dang. I put manticore and not kappas, but I, I couldn't remember. But the kelpie is like that really cool horse thing that you see. In yeah, the, we see we, we we've see seen Kelpie. Kelpies Newt's riding one in the trailer. Yeah, yeah and so yeah. basically, I I basically knew that question because of that trailer. Because I was like, I feel like I would have remembered water plant horse. Water yeah. plant. Yeah, yeah. Like I would have remembered like the description right. of that in the book, and it just wasn't there. All right. Question eighteen. What did Lupin have that none of his school friends did, aside from lycanthropy? I know this is true. I don't know if it's the answer. Yeah, I, I know that I, I think this is accurate. Okay. Um, but I don't know. Three, two, one. A prefect badge. He's a prefect, that's correct. Okay. okay. To say, like, what does he what have? What does he have? Yeah, I know. Like, what do you mean? What do you, like, uh, I, I feel like that was almost like a, a misleading question. Well, it's a misleading question, but if you had multiple choice, it would have been right Th there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's right there. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> okay. Moving on. Question 19. What did Lupin do to help the Order following Sirius's death? I I know my answer is... Well, I don't even know if I want to give you any hints. Sure. Uh, I, I, like, there's there's something I can think of, but I, I, nothing specifically, like... It wouldn't be, like, concrete knowledge, but the, I would have an educated <coughs> guess okay. on something. All right. Um, but no, I don't even think that's accurate. <coughs> following Sirius's death. Right. What a weird hint. So, like, what was Sirius providing to the Order that Lupin would then need to <coughs> have a way to assist with? I don't think this is accurate, but three, two, one. But live with werewolves. He went undercover as a spy amongst werewolves. So... Nothing to do with the criminal place. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, the, the, I was like, the serious part seemed like, like a weird. Hint. Yeah, it's like, like the question is phrased and like that's supposed to be your hint. Yeah. But that's yeah. See, like that's a frustrating question. <clears throat> yeah, I was like, I was just trying to think. What's the only thing we know Lupin does for the order? Right. That's basically it. So that, that was my guess. Question twenty: What magical ability does Lupin's son pick up from his mother? Three, two, one. Metamorph Maga. Yeah. Metamorph Magus. The ability to change his physical appearance. You know what it is. You just didn't know the name. I'll, right. I'll allow it. It's like, man. Boosh. 21. And you know, if you get this one, I'll be impressed. Because... Wadi Wasi. Yeah. It's... You know what? Maybe even more impressed <laughs> than that one. Question 21. 
What was Lupin's mother's maiden name? Oh, boy. Oh, do you know? I think I do. Oh, there's a reason why I would know if I'm right. Okay, hold on. Wow. <laughs> this would be extremely exciting. <laughs> What do we this know? is a rare feeling. Is this how you always feel? <laughs> <laughs> what do we know? I'm trying to think. Uh, what could be maiden name? Okay, but it's not. Okay, so let's. let's uh, I'm so so eager to see if this is right. I'm gonna. Oh, God. I am. I am rather certain that you are correct in your answer. Judging from your reactions to what Jay was saying, and <laughs> not from anything else. I man, I have no idea. This is annoying. And you obviously do. So let's just go. All right. Do you want to write anything down? I wrote something down. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. I'll put green grass. Howl. In, in keeping with J.K. Rowling's tendency to make names just super spot on the nose, Howl is the werewolf's mother's mm. maiden last name. <laughs> that as, makes more sense. <clears throat> as sad Explo- as it is, my mind was just blown as you said that. <laughs> Howell was the name of my first and second grade teacher, <laughs> and it was a weird situation where I had the same teacher back to back years, oh. and so I just remembered it because I had a reason oh. to. Okay. Kind of like if his middle name was Ben <laughs> <laughs> or Waddy Wassy. <laughs> my name's not John. It's pretty close. Though. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that one. Thanks. That was good. Thanks. Howell. I am not. Yeah, where where do you? Where do they say it? Yeah, that's my question. It is definitely in, which we have read, but it's definitely on the, um, on the Pottermore page. The Pottermore, because they give uh, the extensive background of several characters. Uh, okay. All right. Question 22. Which decoy Harry was Lupin paired with for the Battle of the Seven Potters? George. It was George. George. I can't believe I didn't even realize how like yeah. all the time. Yeah. That's, That's so old. clever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm still like, they said it and I was trying to like kind of. I had just been Obviously. smart, and then it was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Question 23. Uh, what was Lupin's star sign? This is like a Zodiac thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Worst case scenario, 1 and 12. <laughs> if you know all the Zodiacs. Fair. Which, I, obviously, everybody knows that. <laughs> I don't think, like, I don't think one's a wolf. <laughs> is my problem. But one must be. I can also only remember seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is not something that's on the top of my... I have five. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is your sign? Aquarius. Aquarius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's Aquarius, they're going to be so bad. <laughs> You're the Scorpio. Yes, yeah, Scorpio. Right. Yeah. What are you, Derek? <laughs> What are you, Derek? Uh, I, uh, it's a legitimate question. I'm a Taurus. Ah, Taurus. I totally forgot about Taurus. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, that's the Thank ball. you for Pokemon. <laughs> Helping me know what that is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh um, my gosh. You just this wanna... is so annoying. What a dumb question. <laughs> oh my god. It's just a total guess. All right. I, I, I'm going to go with a total guess then. I don't like this question at all. Are you just guessing? I'm just guessing. And I'm, I'm like so certain I'm wrong. If someone's right, this is going to be such, I'm going to be so mad if you're right and I'm wrong. I can't believe you're an Aquarius and like that's something that like I literally could, I would not have known at all. Typical Scorpio, am I right? I put Sagittarius. The correct answer is Pisces. Oh boy, guess what I wasn't going to guess. <laughs> Fish? Question 24. Where was Lupin living when Dumbledore tracked him down and asked him to teach at Hogwarts? Jeez, okay. There are more things to know about Lupin than I realized. Yep. This is tough. I'm going to go multiple choice. Well, let's multiple choice yeah. it right on up. Let's let's move things well, let's along. Let's do it. All right. The answers are an empty house in the Lake District, an abandoned mansion in Devon, a barn in Wiltshire, a semi-derelict cottage in Yorkshire. All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I want the barn. I want the cottage. The semi-derelict cottage in Yorkshire is correct. No, well, yeah. whatever. That's just semi-derelict that felt, cottage. That felt very, um, like... Very Lupin, you know, because he's always, like, so disheveled and kind of shabby looking. Question 25. What did Lupin help with at the Order of the Phoenix's headquarters in London? What did he help with in London? So, this is at Grimald Place. Do we choice it? Um, we can go for it, yeah. 
All right. Multiple choice. All right. choice. The answers are a puff skein infestation in the curtains, a music box that sent everyone to sleep, a nest of doxies in the attic, a grandfather clock that shot bolts. You want to know? I feel like my answer was correct. I said cleaning the house. <laughs> <laughs> they all did that. <laughs> I suppose this is a dumb question. This is specific. Okay. Okay. All right. Yelling? No. <laughs> Gee, think it's this one. There's a reason why I think it's the one I think it is. All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. C. Doxies. The correct answer is a grandfather clock that shot bolts. No, it's not. Shot bolts? bolts? I have no recollection of this in the books whatsoever. Bolts. I'm getting disgruntled with this quiz. In his OWL exam, Lupin was asked to give five signs that identify the werewolf. What answers did he jokingly give to James Potter? Select all that apply. He's wearing my clothes. He's got my haircut. He's using my quill. He's sitting in my chair. His name's Remus Lupin. All right, well, we'll give it a shot. Okay. Three, two, one. I said he's wearing my clothes and he's sitting in my chair. I had clothes, chair, and Remus Lupin. The correct answer is he's sitting in my chair. He's wearing my clothes. And his name is Remus Lupin. Dang, I do not remember saying that. Mm. Uh, uh, clawing back up, Ben. Oh, boy. Slowly, clawing the luck up. smudges are back. Man, oh, that man. is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Man, I don't remember him saying that. That doesn't seem like a... That's not a joke. All right, question 27. Why did Lupin specifically hate Professor Umbridge so much? She hated half-breeds and tried to pass anti-werewolf legislation. That seems way more accurate than she was actively not teaching anything. Because she drafted some anti-werewolf legislation that made it impossible for him to get a job. That was pretty ridiculous. I don't know I, I just, just props. That's, that's well done. <laughs> oh my it just seems like such a, like a mundane thing. Where are you smudging now? They're all over my hand. <laughs> and in my spot. Oh, <laughs> they yeah. did not move at all. <laughs> like four of them did. I said four and held up three. It's, good. it's going great. <laughs> Life is good today. All right, question 28. Where did Lupin train Harry to use the Patronus spell? All right. Three, two, one. It's an empty classroom. It said in his office. In the history of magic classroom. So like... You're not wrong, but... <laughs> <laughs> we'll just... I don't think that counts. Yeah. You also remember. would have been correct if you said Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Earth>. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Question 29. What did Lupin, along with Sirius, give to Harry as a Christmas present during his fifth year at Hogwarts? What did Lupin, along with Sirius, mm -hmm. give to Harry? Yes. It's like a partner gift it's like a it's like they went on it went in on it together yeah. or something yeah have you bought anything for harry yet no me either <laughs> or this is or i was thinking here that sounds great <laughs> they would be back at grimwall place back at grimwall place because ron's dad would get attacked by the snake do you want to get multiple choice sure yeah let's go multiple choice all right the answers are a new set of dueling robes a new cauldron, because Harry's had been damaged by a firework. A new set of books about advanced transfiguration. A set of books about practical defensive magic. Three, yep. two, one. Practical defensive magic! A set of books about practical defensive magic is Hooray! correct. That's um, pretty obvious when you can see it. I, yeah, yeah. If, if you had multiple choice there, it's like, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I, I wasn't sure if maybe the picture of the original Order of the Phoenix. Moody. Moody, okay. Yeah. That was one where I was like... Because Sirius gives it to him in the movie. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't remember if the detail of when he gave it to him was incorrect or who gave it to him was incorrect. Ah. Uh, gotcha. Anyway, are we on question 30? 30. We are. Here we go. Question 30, the final question. Lupin was the first werewolf to posthumously receive which award? Oh, yeah. I think this is right. I think it's right. Three, two, one. Order of Merlin, first class. The Order of Merlin, first class. Woo! That's like the only award. <laughs> they always mention it. Right. Yeah. I think like even Lockhart has third class. Third class, right. Yeah. I think it's all the time. Yeah. Order of Merlin, third class. 
<laughs> obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Pretty obvious. Uh, so I ended up with 20 points. So yeah, a, a 23. 66%. <laughs> Woo! Just oh, like high school man. all over again. Some of those questions were pretty... Ridiculous. <laughs> no. So, so pretty ridiculous, I yes, think you mean. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, a, that's a good that's a looping, looping joke right there. That's a good looping joke right there. Oh, man. Yeah, I oh, I was feeling so good about it. Me too. There was some very specific... Yeah, there were some very, very specific things yeah, in like, there. I don't think you have to know anyone's Zodiac sign. That seems That silly. seems ridiculous. That like, seems like a wash. And, and, and is that mentioned in the books, I uh, suppose? It's most I, certainly not. Yeah. I, I feel like, yeah, that's like you need to know his birthday and then also know what that birthday lines up with. No. Right. Or some sort of background with zodiac signs and duality or something. Like, that question, everything's about wolves. This is... Anyway. <laughs> anyway. The important thing is I won. And, <laughs> I wa- and Wadi Wasi. Wadi Wasi. Hashtag Wadi Wasi. Absurd. Although, Howell. Absurd. Also Howl exciting. was pretty good. I'll yeah. give you that one. It, it that made me good. happy that, like, at the very least, this in this round, even though I didn't win, that I feel like there was at least a good handful of questions that I got right and you got wrong, which is there you go. It's a it's that's a the important thing. That's right. the important <laughs> thing. <laughs> right. right. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let us know how you did on the quiz on the towel section down below, and if there's any other quizzes you'd like us to take, leave your thoughts. Uh, if you'd like to see any more Jay versus Ben, you can click right here in the middle of the screen. We have a playlist oh. for you. What? See you next time. Bye. Bye.